So yesterday, I uploaded a reaction to the final trailer for Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. Now, this is just going to be the PS5 version of the game, but it also showed stuff regarding the Yuffie DLC. Now, there is a little bit of confusion regarding these two entries that honestly has led me to be a little confused as well, because um, I've seen some people in my comments talk about this, so I kind of want to at least show something that will really kind of bring things clarification for everybody. So basically there are two different things we have things to look forward to there's final fantasy 7 remake integrate which is the ps5 version of final fantasy 7 remake but we also have the yuffie dlc that is an additional purchase which we have to pay to actually end up playing now because you can have the uh, the ps5 version of 7 remake without having the yuffie dlc so that's something that needs to be understood this ps5 version doesn't come with the yuffie dlc now the trailer that we actually saw for it actually included stuff from the main game of final fantasy 7 remake which i'm going to assume is for integrate because they promoted this trailer as the final trailer for 7 remake integrate However, it showed stuff from the Yuffie DLC too, mainly because they come out on the same day. So they're kind of trying to just promote them as the same thing when they're really not because you can end up buying one without the other. However, if you do own 7 Remake for PS4, you can get the integrated version upgrade for free. So the only thing you'll be buying that day will be the Yuffie DLC. However, if you don't have the PS4 version and you just want to get it on PS5, you have to buy Integrate as its own standalone purchase alongside the Yuffie DLC, which is even more money. But that's not what we're mainly talking about today. What we're talking about is going to be Nomura's whole interview about um, during the Final Fantasy first uh, Final Fantasy VII first Soldier stream yesterday, um, and how he talked about Part Two in Integrate. Um, the translation that I'm going to be showing on screen and having and talking about this video is actually from Ataki Mochi. Uh, she actually does a lot of translations regarding a bunch of square stuff that ends up happening for interviews and all kinds of stuff So a lot of stuff I've already brought up in videos in the past actually are from translations from her So shout out to her and there is stuff um, in the future that I'm obviously gonna cover that will have translations that she's done So much love to her. Of course her information will be in the description um, However, let's talk about what Nomura said regarding Final Fantasy 7 remake part 2 and integrate during this so on screen, you can see the interview here. Um, Hinamura says, I see comments, people asking questions like, what's going on with part two? I knew this would be ass. So this morning before 9 a.m. actually, I called Kitase and asked him, hey, can I at least talk a bit about Final Fantasy VII Remake part two? Before I knew it, this turned out to be a huge mess. I just find this funny because again, um, some people might find it weird that Nomura has to ask Kitase about this. And unlike part one, um, Nomura isn't the primary on this part of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, it's actually going to be Kitase this time, likely because Nomura has so much on his plate in general, it might hinder some of his work if he had to you know, take on the grunt or the, I guess the primary seat for this. They're still working closely together. So one doesn't really do things without the other. So don't get me wrong. But Kitase is, you know, the primary on Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two, which is likely why he's coming to him regarding this. Um, but we had to get confirmation from so many different departments. And I literally wasn't even going to say much info to begin with. I just wanted to say something along the lines of, we're doing our best to develop this game. Instead, it ended up being way too complicated. So I was just kind of stuck. After all, as expected, I can't say much. There was just so many levels to go through to get approval that I myself was surprised. Like there's that many people we need to check in with. I thought we could just casually ask around. And it's, it, I think things like this are just so great to see because we're so tuned in a lot of times as consumers of who was the director of this project. We see Nomura's name, we go crazy thinking this is Nomura's project and all this kind of stuff or, you know, or Kitase's project. But there are so many more people behind these projects than just the director, man. And, and it go just goes to show that if they even want to talk about some of these things that they're directing, it, there's they have to go through so many people and know what's good. You know, you don't want to have a Tom Holland and accidentally say something you're not supposed to say. <laughs> but I just think these kind of things are good to remember. And seeing these interviews always brings that to light. So I'm making videos on these kind of interviews, I feel like is a smart thing. So we can all get a reminder of that kind of thing. 
Um, but he continues on saying, what I can say though, is that the game's development is going smoothly. You will make announcements when the time is right, but for now, what I can reveal is Cloud will be running around a lot of nature. The atmosphere will be quite different from part two. So I think people will really enjoy it. In either case, development is going great and please wait for more information. Also, part two story will start right after the events of Intergrade. So I hope you enjoy Intergrade too. Now, this is a, this is a big thing. This is kind of why I brought up that clarification at the beginning of this video, talking about how the differences between uh, the Eufy DLC and Intergrade, um, these two are going to be very, very close. From what I've gathered from uh, the Eufy DLC, is that this Yuffie DLC uh, begins during the plot of Final Fantasy VII Remake Part One, but it leads up to the new ending of Intergrade. What I'm assuming is Intergrade actually ends at a different part than Part One normally does. I'm surprised they would do this so soon since the original game just came out last year. But from what I'm gathering, because he's saying that part two story will start after the events of Intergrade and not part one, as you can tell, if he meant part one, he would have said part one. In the previous sentences, he was saying part one. But the fact that he's saying that part two story will start after the events of Intergrade, I'm assuming, again, there will be a new epilogue or something along the lines or continuation that this game will not end the same place part one did. So that's why that's what this is going to be the case. And I'm assuming the Yuffie DLC ends around the same time the new Integrate ending does as well, which is why I'm assuming they're promoting them so closely together because they both lead into the same thing, which as we see, part two will be immediately going into and starting right after Integrate's ending, you know, happens. Um, and when he was talking about how uh, Cloud was going to be running around a lot of nature, this makes sense. Anybody who's played uh, the original Final Fantasy VII, when you get to disc two, um, at the end of disc one, it was pretty much where Seven Remake ended. You know, they leave Midgard. But um, at part two, the disc two of the original, um, they travel around a lot of outside of Midgard, and they are, there is a lot of nature surrounding Midgard, whether it be forest or desert areas and so many other parts of the, the edges of the continent. You know, they're all around nature and these things. And when he's saying nature, I know the first thing people are going to think about is forest. And forest is actually where you can meet uh, Yuffie in the original game because Yuffie is an optional party member uh, in the original seven. And so I'm wondering if you were going to meet her during Intergrade and we actually get to see them leave Midgard and see, you know, maybe a little bit after that. So who knows what we're going to actually see at the end of Intergrade and how Yuffie is going to tie into things. Will we actually see the team meet Yuffie at the end of Intergrade or will the Yuffie DLC go a tiny bit past Intergrade's ending and we actually see them meet Yuffie there? Maybe they'll meet during it. I honestly don't have a clue. Um, but I do think obviously the atmosphere will be quite different from part one, as he said, because honestly, Dix two of the original has a very different mood than part one, because obviously, you know, the whole we got to, you know, save the planet and all that stuff. It honestly it kind of feels like with the way seven remake ended, that could have been a whole game. It didn't really feel like that in the original seven, but you can tell that if they wanted to and reworded dialogue, they could have ended the game there. But there's so much there's so much of a different environment here now. Now that they kind of accomplished what they wanted to accomplish in Remake Part 1, what left is there? The whole mood of what we're trying to accomplish as the main cast is going to feel so different because it, it didn't take long for us to find out what we wanted to do in the first part. So I feel that's what the atmosphere is really going to be different from. It's going to have a very different tone to it. And honestly, it's probably going to be a lot more grim. Any of you guys who played disc two of the original, you guys have an idea of what we might see, especially towards the end of it. So I'm wondering if it's going to be the same. I'm wondering if it's going to be different. If part one was anything to go by, we're going to have a time and a half. But let me know what you guys think. What are you expecting from part two? Um, I'm not going to really consider anything spoilers here. Um, you, I, like, even though I didn't really say it in the video, I don't really care if people uh, talk about a, in detail about the original seven, because when we're speculating about what can happen in part two, it's hard not to talk about the original seven. So don't be worried about spoiling people. I do recommend if, if you guys haven't played the original seven, you might want to avoid the comments on this one primarily because 
I, I feel like it might be a little bit too dangerous because this topic is hard to talk about in general without it. If you want to, you can always leave your comment, but it might be dangerous to be scrolling through them. So just as a disclaimer, but if you guys haven't already, let me know how I did in the comments below and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. I really like talking about 7 Remake Part 2 and I'm really excited for Integrate. I'm definitely going to be streaming through. I'm, I honestly might stream through the entire game just because it's. I only played the game the one time when it first came out. So I might stream through the entire game and Yuffie's DLC. So if you guys want to see that, hit that like button. I would really, really appreciate that as I really want to get us going. I'm really excited to cover more JRPGs and stuff like that. But thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Kingdom Ace. And remember my warriors of courage to stay strong, stay beautiful, and always look skyward.